Also following some breaking news out of Moscow, a deadly attack at a massive concert hall there. Russian news agencies report at least three people wearing camouflage opened fire inside this concert venue, killing at least 40 people and hurting 100 others. NBC News has not confirmed those casualty numbers at this point. This video appears to show a fire then erupting from the hall after the attack. NBC News international correspondent Matt Bradley has been following this one for us. Uh, Matt, I know it's early. What do we know so far? Yeah, Kate, well, it sounds as though kind of like what you were just saying, three to five gunmen wearing fatigues went into that concert hall and not only opened fire on the people who were there, but they also launched bombs. And that's why I think some of the images you're seeing are going to show a raging fire. There has been talk online, and we haven't been able to confirm this, that the the roof of that building has at least partially collapsed. But again, we need to still look into that. Now, supposedly the death toll now is about 12 to 14. I think that's probably likely to go up. Uh, and we don't know really yet whether this is still ongoing or not. There's been a massive emergency deployment by Russian authorities to this concert hall trying to stop the fighting, trying to provide relief to those who have been injured. But again, this is a very ongoing situation, so we don't exactly know all of the details. I think that death toll is probably going to be increasing as this goes on. But you know, Kate, this is going to be bringing back a lot of memories of previous terror attacks in Moscow, like the one in 2002, also at a theater venue. This was perpetrated by Chechen terrorists who were course, angry about the situation in Chechnya, a breakaway part of Russia at the time. And so, you know, we're start there's in Russia right now because of the recent elections that were widely slammed as a sham that brought Vladimir Putin back into power because of the war in Ukraine. That's also caused a lot of domestic anger and the ongoing resentment of the Chechens and other groups. You know, it could be anybody who did this attack, and we haven't yet heard any claim of responsibility. But this is a very tense time for Russia, not just externally in its continued war with Ukraine, but also internally with Vladimir Putin and his regime now dealing with an upswell of dissent against his rule and other minority groups throughout the country who are continuing to fight against the central government. Kate. Yeah, those pictures are harrowing. We'll get more information, I'm sure, as time goes on. Matt Bradley, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.